morning, morning. Had a friggin' awesome, pleasant, very warm night. And look at the little space heater right next to the couch. I, ever since my night on Guest BZ when I like froze with those coyotes and stuff, I feel like I'm way more susceptible to the cold. Like it affects me a lot more all of a sudden. Like cold scarring down to my bones. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna check out Fredericton because unlike yesterday, I actually have time to like enjoy stuff. I'm gonna go up to Edmonston tonight, but it's only like a two and a half hour drive, so I'm just going to uh, chill out here, check out some stuff, and make my way slowly up to Edmonston. That's not Edmonton, that's Edmonston. I've never been, I don't know anything about it. Should be fun. Oh, it's been so nice to have Chico here. Hey buddy, you're a freaking cutie. Really makes me miss Champ, but yeah, I'm just gonna pack up my bike and then I'm gonna leave it here, I think, and just take a stroll downtown. It's nice to use the legs again. Plus my, uh, my butt's a little sore still from yesterday, so I think I need the off-seat time for a bit. <sighs> what a luxury to just have this time, eh? how small Fredericton actually is. Like it doesn't feel that small. I think there's only 30,000 people here. But it feels like a, like a city, like a proper city. I don't know, lots going on, very pretty. But uh, I think I'm gonna work on my bike a little bit. That, uh, that drain plug is still leaking. So I've gotta get some more oil for it at least. I might go do an oil change. I don't know, just gonna, just gonna work on it a bit. Treat it right.
road. It is super remote out here. I totally, uh, totally overestimated just how, or just how many gas stations there would be. Anyway, I fuel starved. I was already on reserve, and I fuel starved like maybe back just a little bit past where that truck is. Coasted in to the gas station right here, completely empty. Oh my god. I, I need to learn my lesson here and stop doing that. Or just get a bigger gas tank for this thing. But that was exactly 162 kilometers. And it was pretty much topped as high as I could put it. So 162 kilometers is the range on this bike. And it works out to be about $4 per 100 kilometers. Not bad at all. Here's another one that I have to try that I haven't tried out yet. Clams, fried clams. I don't know what to expect. I have no idea what they even look like. But uh, looking forward to trying that. Okay, this looks this looks amazing. Fishy. It's good. It's almost like smoked. It's a pretty strong flavor. I like it. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good. I can see how like, yeah, if it wasn't a roadside diner kind of thing, I could get something that was like much higher quality maybe, but like, as like a cheap fried snack, man, that's pretty good. It certainly gives you like that scallops or, you know, seafood, it fills a seafood void, but it's also nice and warm and crispy, delicious. It goes good with tartar sauce. All right, I'm gonna hit the road and I'm making my way up to Edmonston where I'll be spending the night tonight. safe and sound um thankfully my my couch surfing host has a dryer so i've thrown all my stuff into the dryer to dry out for the for the night um the backpack is soaked i'm scared to power on the laptop because it was sealed up but i mean even when the oil exploded some oil got onto it so i got a new bag for that and all my clothes were sealed up so they're all dry too and the electronics but it's just like everything i was wearing is just anyway so that's it for me. I'm going to hang out with my host. We're making dinner and uh, I'm just going to sit around and chat about life, travel, you know. I'm so grateful for a warm, dry bed <laughs> and warm, dry clothes. Good night.